Dark money, politicians, campaigns, funding. Dark money is money that's inserted into a political campaign or given to a politician by a backer who you don't necessarily know or by a group uh, that you don't necessarily know. And I live in Missouri, which is a state in the middle of the United States. It's the dark money capital of the United States. It means that we don't know who is funding our politicians. We don't know who is funding ballot initiatives. We don't know why um, they're doing this. It's more prevalent in the GOP, you know, in the Republican Party. You also find it in the Democratic Party. The solution is campaign finance reform, but unfortunately when you have politicians who are bought, um, it's really difficult to find ones who want to combat that because it's in their own self-interest you know, to have this money rolling in. American campaigns are very expensive. You may have noticed the ridiculous situation of us talking about a 2020 presidential campaign in spring of 2019 and even before. They go on for a very long time, um, and so I think we need laws about how money is brought in. Uh, we need identification of you know, who is bringing in the money. We need to cap the limits uh, and I, I wish we also just had shorter election cycles I think a shorter cycle is a more transparent cycle and transparency uh, is really what we're after here when you don't know uh, who is funding a politician or funding a campaign that money can often come in uh, through illegal activity or through you know white-collar crime which also you know it often kind of circumvents this line of you know legality um, you know where you have corporate crime that can technically be legal uh, but is very immoral is very damaging for democracy it's often not persecuted because of the idea that somehow wealthy elite men um, you know are not committing an actual offense where you know a a low-level, non-way, youthful offender will almost always, you know, end up uh, with a harsh sentence in an American prison. That's the imbalance, you know, of our justice system. But uh, white-collar crime is is serious crime. You know, they call it blood money for a reason because people often die on the way, uh, you know, that these men reap their their fortunes and their profits, uh, particularly abroad. So it's something that it should be taken very seriously. That's why we desperately need laws that um, handle, you know, campaign finance and that bring about campaign finance reform, that will actually enhance an American democracy.